Tonight, Chris Coons spoke at Wesley College in Wells Theater. Afterwards, I was lucky enough to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. He sh was able to share with me his political views and his experiences that would qualify him as senator. For my first question, I asked him, what do you think about the frequent attacks by your opponent, Christine O'Donnell? Attacks. Like, through ads? I'm just teasing. <laughs> my response uh, has been, as my question model, um, to largely ignore her attacks and to instead focus on what I think are the real issues that Delawareans are interested in. Uh, as someone who was raised in Delaware uh, and who's rooted in Delaware's values, uh, I've run a campaign that I think respects Delaware's traditions uh, of being a, a centrist state that wants candidates to propose real, concrete solutions. For my second question, I asked him, what are your views on the separation between church and state? Uh, I think it's critical for us to maintain um, the historic separation between uh, taxpayer-funded public sector activities uh, and private, private religious activity. Uh, as someone who was myself raised in a family um, that was strong in its faith, as someone who's raising with my wife uh, our three children in our faith, um, I respect the critical role that religion has played uh, in the foundation, the formation, and growth of the United States. Uh, but I think for us to continue to be a free people, for us to continue to get uh, the full value out of the diversity uh, of backgrounds um, and of religious experience of the people who make up the United States, uh, we need to respect the separation of church and state. I also was able to ask Mr. Coons, gay marriage is a current political issue. What are your views on homosexuals, and should they have the right to marry? I'm someone who believes in uh, tolerance and diversity and inclusion. Uh, of folks from many different uh, backgrounds and orientation. Uh, I think um, in the state of Delaware, uh, we've made significant progress. Uh, at the employer uh, for which I worked for eight years, uh, we made significant progress. Newcastle County um, recognizes domestic partner benefits. Um, the state of Delaware has finally, uh, I think uh, too late, it took too long, but has finally passed uh, non-discrimination legislation that protects um, people from the LGBT community uh, from facing harassment or discrimination at work. Um, I do think um, that differences in sexual orientation uh, are a result of um, sort of how people are formed and born, and it's, it's sort of an inborn part of who they are, uh, and they deserve the opportunity to express themselves uh, and to choose whom they wish to love or marry or uh, form lasting partnerships with. And I think uh, it's critical that we respect that and tolerate that uh, and celebrate that at some level. My final question to Mr. Coons was, what makes you qualified for the Senate? I have significant experience, um, both in my personal life uh, and in my public life. Uh, I've known good times and hard times growing up uh, in Delaware. Uh, I'm someone who's worked in the nonprofit sector, um, in the for-profit sector for one of Delaware's most innovative manufacturing companies, uh, and now 10 years as a countywide elected official uh, representing two-thirds of our state, uh, the last six years running our second largest government. Uh, in doing those, I've had to make hard choices. I've had to be held accountable to the public for making them. Um, I've made um, decisions that have helped make our government more transparent, more efficient, uh, and worked in partnership with the private sector to help grow jobs. Um, all of those, I think, are critical experiences um, that prepare me, uh, as well as my formal education, um, to make hard decisions on behalf of the people of Delaware. Uh, most importantly, as someone who uh, has traveled up and down the state for the last nine months, uh, and as someone who's lived most of my life here, um, I think I understand um, the very real needs facing the people of Delaware today uh, and will work tirelessly to help advocate for Delaware, uh, not just for one political party or another, uh, but for the very real uh, concerns and needs of the people of Delaware. Today, Chris Coons came and spoke at Wesley College to students and faculty. I was able to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with him after the speech. Regardless of who you vote for, both candidates came and shared their views at Wesley College. For more information, please visit whetstone.wesley.edu.